I never know what to throw these. God, my hands still smell like gasoline. Uh, while I'm getting stuff ready... That's really quiet, but it'll do for now. Hey, Vern. Hey, Untrusted. A couple of things I need to do. <laughs> Finally caught one. Hey, Captain Battis is in too. Had to escape for food drinking. What? You should not be getting a black screen. That's worrying. Okay, what is the name of this game? Rogue Legends Dark Realm. Is there actually such a game in this? Not according to this. I'm just going to have to stick with Rogue. Okay. Okay, that's going to have to do good. Okay, let's do this. Huh. Okay, I, I should have guessed that it wouldn't open. No, that's not working either. That's okay. Well, that did something. It's really big. Can I resize this?
No, I don't see any option to resize it. Ooh, credits. Credits does nothing. I've already done a new character. Uh, I think I'll probably do New World this time. All right. This is incomplete. Um, right off the bat, you might want to put a version number somewhere on the opening screen so that people know what version we're dealing with. This is a beta, right? Let's try New World. Uh, okay, well, problem one. It broke. <laughs> All right, let's try New World again. Hey, there we go. All right, let's see what kind of controls I'm dealing with here. Right click on things to examine them and interact with them. Sure. Uh, here's a, here's an iron bar. Okay, cool. I prefer using keyboards for this, but all right. I or B for inventory. I guess B for bag, X to examine, R to open rune bag. Ooh, what kind of runes do I got? Cast push to distance. I'm guessing that it costs hunger. Like it makes me hungry. Uh, cast light blink for five distance. Cost hunger. Huh. So I know a couple of spells. That's cool. Uh, let's see. What else can I do here? Oh, actually, just runes, bag, log. Just realized that. Because I'm smart. Uh, G for get. That's normal. L for log? Okay. Period for skip turn. Up and down. Goes up and down. Mouse num locks to move around. Includes diagonals. Um, escape or space bar or right click to close menus. Well, that's a no on the help screen, so that's not working. Space works though. Good. Let's see, S to open up character sheet. Capital I, C, or O to open interact menu. Close iron door, kick iron door. Can I kick it closed? Let's try that. Kick the door rolling one D100 plus tenacity. Difficulty 50. Wham! The iron door crashes down. Cool. Yeah. Take that iron door. <laughs> I think I broke the iron door. I think it's gone now. All right. What else? Screw that iron door. I probably, I don't know, send out waves. Inventory. Can this scroll up and down? No. All right. Uh, to select item, press the corresponding letter or click on it. To choose an interaction, click on the command button or press corresponding numbered on the keyboard. Okay, that makes sense. Attacking, simply run into or click on a monster to attack it, which I am, uh, I'll, I'll just tell you now, this is going up on VODs, so no prob. All right. Let's see my sheet. I have 15 swiftness, 57 concentration, 18 tenacity, 28 inquiry, 14 inducement, and 75 composure. This is you. You are an ambitious creature prone to delving into dungeons haphazardly. 
You are the most promising apprentice to a powerful mage who has given you uh, has given into illness. You have heard tales that there exists a great powerful artifact in this place that can revive your master. You are trained in the arts of light magic. You're doing all right. Got a 25 misery out of 100. That seems good. A little thirsty, a little parched. What do I got in my inventory? I have an apprentice staff and an apprentice cloak. Well, let's take a look at the staff first. See what we're even doing with. Oh, we're just going to examine it. A knotted wooden staff. Uh, one to fire, one to poison. No power. This is imbued with the rune of pushing. Ah, that's what the runes was about. Okay. What about the cloak? The cloak was given to you by your master. I can hear the audio, but the screen is black. Weird. Weird. I don't even know why that's happening. So I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. So that we can actually see some of the stuff going on in chat. Gads! <laughs> so, let's see what else is going. Room of blinking. Okay, it's light blinking, but it's like not a far cast to blink. Uh, I don't want to deal with that just yet. I mean... Let's try and examine stuff. Okay. Okay. Wrong enter. It's not the keypad enter. It's the actual enter enter. Might also be something that you fix. I don't know. It's an old wooden door. Cool. Let's, uh, let's examine this wall. No. Don't know anything about the wall. Let's examine the floor. No. No, it's just, it's just, let's examine myself. Oh, actually, it does give me my info. Cool. Just open this door. Right-click on things to examine them. See, I tried that. And what it's doing is just taking me there. Whoa, where did you come from? You're a chuej. Let's examine you. Its teeth glisten in the darkness. A tentacle golem-like creature. It glows with faint, fiery light. Oh, fiery light! And it's quite smart. Smart enough to open doors. Right-click, not left-click. Oh, so it is. Okay, my bad. Well, I'm gonna have at you, sir. With my... What can I do? I'm gonna push you. Yeah. Take that. Yes. Power! I have pushed you away, good sir, that you you tentacle golem thing. There's more where that came from. You know, I'm gonna give you what for. Just Wow, that thing hit me for, for like seven hit points. Damn! And now it's spattered everywhere. Can I? Oh, let me right-click on these places. No, I just can't see the blood. Except that I can see the blood everywhere. What is that? It's a potion filled with the essence of healing. That's damn useful. Let's get that. A muffled roar echoes through the dungeon. Spooky. What? What is that? What is that monster right there? It's a lumpy cat. It has four horrible appendages, like a cat. 
It's quite graceless in its movement, like a cat. Let's see, has an MP or an HP of three, a power of one, or I'm sorry, it's a cat, so a purr of one, a def of four, it's def, has no resistances, except for miss 15. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that's misery 15? I don't know. Let's beat it up. Whoop. I punched it until its matter ceased to exist. What is this over here? Whoa, wrong, wrong button. I'm still used to look because I was playing Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it's a sculpture of a golem creature. It's depicted in its natural environment. I'm under it, apparently. Let's get it. You grope full... What? Is it is it stationed over the doorway? Is that what's going on here? Because... I mean, I can see it right here. It's a wooden statue. And... I seem to be under it as I go under it. I cannot get it. I'm just groping around at the ground foolishly, which I, I guess that means it's not on the ground. You hear laughter to the northwest. Well then, let's head to the northwest. A muffled hiss echoes through the dungeon. That fills me with misery. You hear a deathly hiss noise. There's a there's a snake around here. Or it's, you know, somebody has a has a leak in their tire. Open the door. Close the door. Open the door. Close the door. That's useful. Oh no! Run away! I will fool you. I will close the door and run away. Oh no! It's clever enough to open doors! Okay, I'm just doing this to kind of test it out because I really think that's kind of cool. I mean, it is the same kind of critter, right? Yeah, it's a tur-chulge. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's the same kind of critter. Also, it means that it's, like, damn weak, so I can just, like, boom, it's dead. Whoa, it left something behind. It has loot. It's a corpse. It left a corpse behind. This time, I did not punch it until its matter ceased to exist. We'll just leave that corpse here for now. Let's examine these here. Uh, this is a potion of flame. That's a snake. Oh! Can't get past the potion of... Can't get past this potion of water, can you? Ho oh, ho! Well, where did he go? Fuck. Oh, he was under the water. I couldn't see the snake because it was under the water. Okay. Get water. And let's get this flame potion. Was that a snake? Let me see here. It, it was a teak. I set it on fire. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. I like being able to look at the uh, log. That's really cool. Okay, that's dead. It died so hard it didn't even leave blood behind. What's this right here? It's a piece of fruit. Well, I am hungry. What with pushing things. What's this? Uh, it is a knife of fire. Let's get that and actually, let me take a look here. This has one poison and one fire. I'm not real sure how that works, but... The knife of fire... Examine. Has a power of one and three fire. I I think I'm gonna go with the knife of fire equip. And 
The staff has, what, a rune of pushing? So far that hasn't done much except make me hungry. So let's go ahead and drop this. I don't know if destroying it will do anything. Ooh, more water. Might as well get that. What's in here? Nothing. I'm glad I went in there. Lock picking. Oh, this was this was locked. I didn't even realize it was locked. Okay, this is also locked. Are these all locked? Like, let me take a look at this. Will it actually say if it's locked? There's an engraving of a slug here being eaten by a basilisk. What was in the other door? There's an engraving of a dime trodden here, whatever that is, and it's depicting, depicted defending a crown from a golem-like critter. I say we go with the slug being eaten by the basilisk. Wow, corpses, corpse eyes. Oh, they're following me. Well, just close that door. You, you just do you over there. I'm coming, going this way. It's a Permian reptile. Oh, there are more corpses this direction. Cool. You have been struck down. Holy shit. The skeletal tools don't fuck around. I probably should have taken some kind of health potion because I was real at... Okay, escape or end to go back to main menu. End doesn't go back to main menu. Okay, there it is. Cool. Let's crash the game by looking at credits. <laughs> never, never mind. I was just joking about the crash crashing the game looking at credits let's try to okay so new world creates a dungeon new character keeps the same dungeon but creates a new character oh what the goal of the game will be to find a way to just defeat the demon who has corrupted the world within one game year over multiple characters lives how do we find out what day it is or, okay, here's a turn. How many days is in... How many turns in a day? I have questions. Over those lives, you will become attuned to generate the world if, and its many critters. However, the game is nowhere near finished yet, so be wary. Okay. So, I'm in the same spot, I guess. Oh, well, uh, let's take a look at my sheet. Uh, you are a squire who has escaped their master. You wish to make a name for yourself. Uh, I have. A lo I'm a lot swifter. I'm a lot more tenacious, and I have a lot better composure. And I'm doing all right. Eleven misery. I am so fucking happy. What do I have on me? I have a torch. I have a rusty sword. Why am I not? Why don't I have that equipped? Oh. That's why I don't have it equipped. Because I can only equip one thing at a time. Uh, let's examine stuff. Let's examine the sword first. Uh, power 2 it has a rune of pushing. And a dusty piece of armor defensive 1. So, not great stuff, but, you know, alright. And this time, I'll try to keep an eye on my, uh, ooh, what is that? It's a dusty bookshelf. Can we search that for evil knowledge or something? Sure, let's inspect a book. Uh, it has nothing interesting on it. Well, let's, uh, let's push it. Yep. 
A door is opening from the northwest. I should be on my guard. Huh. It's a cyan cap mushroom. It's like food or something. Terrible hiss. Is this also a cyan capped mushroom? Yes, it is. Still counts as food. Getting that. It's creepy and dark in here. Okay. I don't know how much of this you can see, so I'm going to raise this a little bit. And then I'm going to take chat. And I'm going to actually move chat to the top. There we go. Let's try that for now. Lock those, you know, lock those into place. All right. What is that? It's a strangely carved fountain. The player takes a long drink from the fountain. I did not intend to do that. But, okay. 18 choices, rolling D18-3. The fountain dries up. Kicking, I'm kicking the fountain. The fountain crashes. All I did was move into it. What? What the fuck is the? Wait, wait. I need to examine something. Hang on. It's a downward stair stairwell that was behind the door behind the fountain. What? What just happened? Okay. Also, what is this? It's a skeletal knock. A lumpy cat. It has four... I can, I can kill this thing. Whoa, has 100% Pison Ray resistance? It's dodgy. Let's kick its ass. Whoa, you, you came with friends. What, what is that behind it? It's a zombie tool. Why is there... What is this monster closet that is behind me? No, go away. Go away. Okay, well, those things are dead now. The poison hurt me, but I feel better. I guess I'm no longer poisoned. Still, six hit points. I don't know what it will take. Oh, God, what are you? It's a white corpse. This creature looks miserable, as if its very being is sick. Bright green gas is flowing from its every pore. A trunked basilisk. It is clawed. It is pathetic, but surrounded by sparkling energy of blood magic. And it seems unfocused as if it's no longer sane. It's currently very dead. Can I interact with it? I cannot. Spooky hallway. Nope. Okay, I locked back. I just realized this is engraved. What's engraved on it? An engraving at a goblin here. It is depict. I'm sorry. It it is depicted moving through a wall. 
Grapey. Poison resistance. Makes sense. Why would it be, you know, why would it why would it suddenly suffer from poison if it's skeletal? If there's no blood to move it. Whoa, whoa, what are you? You're suddenly attacking me or something. Oh, you're a knock. You're the lumpy cat with four appendages. Super graceless. Ha ha! I will sneak up behind you. Oh. I see you've done this trick before. Ah! Let's... Let's see if it actually figured this out. No, no, it's just like, it's like right here. Right now. Like I can move up and down and it's probably moving up and down with me. Because of the way the, uh... Mm, the way that the, what's it works, the pathfinding works. Let's go ahead and just kill it. Come a little close. Dead. It ignites. It has been struck down. And now it is no longer burning. It has not even left ashes behind. Okay, this is an engraved door's wood as well, right? Let's exam examine. Oh, shoot. Okay, I have some suggestions for the uh, controls for ease of use. Like, if I hit to X to examine, then I think think whoa interesting you can only examine within your range of view that's neat okay i don't have any problem with that if i hit x to examine i would like it to exit out of examine if i hit x again same with o for interact and then o again to re to close the interact window i think that would definitely be like a uh, a quality of life thing i just realized that i'm kind of thirsty and kind of hungry Let's, let's try eating something in my inventory. I have these cyan mushrooms. Uh, consume! Cyan mushrooms. Your wounds mend themselves for two hit points. Cool. Let's do that again, because I'm still... Well, I'll wait until I'm a little hungrier. Maybe we'll find some water. What? Oh, it's that one guy again. I just realized that this door is engraved as well. What is it engraved with? Engraved of a search is here. It is intricately detailed. Man, that guy really liked searches. Close that door. Uh, I am underneath the healing potion. Uh, I guess let's grab the healing potion. Haha, -ha, there you are, sir. I was ready for you with my... Oh, I can't open inventory with that in. With my magical fiery dagger. Oh my god, let's equip this thing. Yeah. Actually, where did I get a magical fiery dagger? Let's examine this thing. Three power, three fire? Can I, can I throw this? I'm going to throw it. At this dude. It hits the tune. The tune is battered. Yeah, it's battered. Now let's catch it on fire. It has been struck down. Okay, let's equip the torch again because that was actually useful. Hmm. A dark and brooding hallway. Let's head south first. Well. I don't know where this dungeon is, but... It's got pointless dead-end rooms. Uh, are you... Oh, are you the knock again, I think? F for knock, right? Yeah, it's a knock's life. <laughs> That is one hard knock life. Just close this door. I don't want to deal with you. Okay, yeah, I've been there.
Let's see. I opened this door. Oh, it's engraved. I love looking at these engravings. This is cool. It is engraved of an engraving of a human inquisitor here. Oh, that was also an, an engraving of a. Okay, knock. You are you are in my way. Die terribly. All right. Let me take a look at this door. Uh, it's just an old wooden door. What is S? S stands for Teak. Of course it does. What has this demon done to this thing? Okay, what has this not demon done to this thing? Its mouth flows with misery. This is a creeping slug. It has bone-like limbs. It is uncannily fast. It and... I'm sorry, it is uncannily fast, period. And it is a being made entirely from energy. Whoa. And it patrols its territory, protecting all that would intrude. Okay, we have hit... Okay, does it have fire resistance? I don't see any fire... It has minus two fire resistance. I've got the thing for this thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is going to be something. Let's start equipping ourselves for this thing. First, magri magic diary... We're going to get, hey, hello, Untrusted. Untrusted, I have some suggestions for you. So get out a notepad and a pen. But in a second, because I'm getting ready for the fight of my life, let's consume this thing. And, yeah, let's, let's start attacking. The teak ignites. The teak strikes the player, but it has no effect. I struck it for six damage. Yeah. It's on fire now. No, it's it's dead. It has been struck down. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay, that was uh, that was a lot scarier than it. I really was was not. I I really was not as as big a danger as I thought I'd be. But okay. Sure. There's a, a door. It's just here. This door. Is there anything on... There is no hidden... We're just going to close this door. Closing that door. That, that door is closed now. Let's... Woof. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> I think that's the whole dungeon. Yeah, I think... Oh, there's no way down here. It's time to, uh, it's time to go to the next thing. That right there, this is cool. I like this. This is good. More of this. It also really shows off your path, pathing. So that's cool. All right. So, uh, that's, that's one level down. Let's move on to the next level. Yeah. You hear a deathly click. You hear a bloody click. Oh my, is it nearby? Did I go all the way east? Well, it's too late now. There's no upstairs. There's only downstairs. Let's uh, equip the torch for extra light. And see what's going on. No, I didn't. I don't think I actually did check all the way over there. Deathly roar. There's a lot of roaring and hissing. There's roaring and hissing going on. Don't know if I like that. Let's open this door. Oh, pick the lock. Okay, let's pick that lock. I'm very swift, so boom, it is picked. So let's open that door now. Uh, looks pretty safe. Hey, Loki. Man, everybody's here today. Wow, here's an empty hallway. Cool. I'm glad I did that. Let's close that door and move on about our business. Uh, what are my suggestions? Okay, here are my suggestions. First off, uh, there are two enter keys on the keyboard, one on the numpad and one on the regular keyboard. I would like both of those to do the same thing. Right now when I examine something and I hit the notepad key, doesn't 
that notepad in or the note that the number pad enter key doesn't work. You don't need to use the pointer action menu. Okay. If I use the regular enter key, that works fine. Another thing, uh, quality of life, if I could. When I hit X to examine something, if I could get out of it, not just by hitting escape, but also hitting X, that would be cool. Um, same with interact. If I could hit O to interact, which is fine. If I could hit it again to close the interact menu, that would be cool. Um, just little things like that. Not big things, just little things. Oh, um, some weird things. When a monster is over, say, like a potion, it actually looks like it's under the potion. Um, another thing is I found a gargoyle that I went under, but I could not pick up. It was like a picture, uh, it was a statue of a gargoyle. Oh, wow, what fucking knock? Hi, how you doing, buddy? Whew, let's back up a second. Uh, ah, hell, just hit it with, it fucking ignites. They're pretty clumsy, kind of pointless critters. All right, these guys, just shut that door. That'll give me a second to switch to my uh, magical fiery dagger. I'm going to obliterate this thing. Getting lots of buffering. Sorry, man. Uh, it should open the door. Yeah, there we go. And you're dead. Struck down for 12 points. It only had three hit points. The poor damn thing. Wow, you know, I just realized that this thing lights up the hallway better than the torch does. Why do I need the torch? Is there a carrying capacity I need to worry about, I wonder? Let's take a look. Let's examine the torch. Um, it doesn't have a weight, so... I'll find that out eventually. Here's a door that leads to another door. Let's go through that door. Ooh, is that water? I hope that's water. Yes, water. Gimme, gimme. Uh, I'm really thirsty, actually. If I could just eat that water now. Uh, let's see. Water potion. Quaff. I love it. Boy, am I glad I found this magic dagger. Examine that real quick. Mm. There we go. There's an engraving of a verd here. The engraving says that it's kind of it's a kind of marsupial and it depicts a huge creature. I assume that's a huge creature of a verd. What is a verd? Hang on, I gotta look this up. Is a verd a thing? No? <laughs> like, no. A bird is not a thing. Okay, well apparently it's a kind of marsupial. I mean, it says right there in the engraving. I like the random engravings, by the way. All right. 
Whoa, it ran away from me. That is a teak, right? Yeah, it's a teak. Oh, we're dancing. What the fuck is up with this teak? Okay, so that teak's dead. Here's a hall of doors. Like, literally, it's just a hallway of doors. Some enemy enemies have different AIs? That's pretty smart. Um, well, that door doesn't go anywhere. We're just gonna close that door. Huh. That's interesting. Just keep going down this way. It will tell you in the description. Wow. I found the mother of all hallways. Just, uh, just keeps on going. Just keeps on going. Hey, a door. I feel I need to examine this door. It's a wooden door. Ah, skeletons. What kind of skeletons are these? Uh, it's a chulithling thing. At least it doesn't have any fire resistance. Oh, it does have fire resistance. Fuck. The energizer hallway. It just keeps going and going. Dead, dead, dead. Man, this fire dagger is the way to go. There's another one of these. This is the second time we've seen one of these. It's a Weck corpse. And it's got like... Stuff. Ooh, what's this? Armor? An evil cloak of magic. It's got some poison resistance and some fire resistance. As opposed to my own... Squire armor, which uh, just has a defense of one. This one has defense of two and fire resistance. I think I'm probably going to do the burning imbue armor of ethereals. Let's get that. Let's equip it. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. Who needs this squire armor? The squire armor is trash. It's trash. Get it away from me. Oh, this this is an engraved door? Yeah, I'll take a look at it. It's got a tool. It depicts a <laughs> it is depicted in a door frame. This door is a door that depicts a door with a tool in it. Do I like the game? So far I'm actually enjoying the game quite a bit. Um, it's mysterious. I like the mysteriousness of it. See this, these things right here. It's a statue of a teak. The engraving says it's a kind of slug. So, I can't get this statue. It's, it acts like the statue isn't here. So, one of two things, right? Either the statue is above me and I just can't grasp it. In which case, you should probably say this statue is above you and you can't grasp it. Or, this is a statue I can't get. Can I push it? I can kick it. Well, I'm kicking it. Whoa! Okay, it crashes down, breaking the floor and turning into a stairwell that goes down further. Cool. You can't pick up statues. Uh. Oh, two of them, huh? Now they're two dead tools. 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 What are these? Are they just corpses? Are they not animate?
What's that? The Dungeon of Tools, yeah. They're giant statues, which is why you can't pick... Okay. But I can kick them, so that's cool. You can kick them down and they'll fall on monsters. That's cool. Also, the exits can be hidden under things like bookshelves and statues. Well, I had one that was hidden under a door. That was weird. The painful bat scurries along the ground. What is the painful bat? Are you a painful bat? No, you're a knock corpse. Are you a painful bat? No, you're a truth corpse. Are you a painful bat? Puffy Creepies info. A swelled up tiny mouthless eyeless creature with four tiny legs. It crawls along the ground assuming it's... I need to draw some of these things. Because this, for example, is kind of hilariously cute. In fact, we're going to do that. We're going to do that right now. I don't... Nope. It's, it's my stream. I can do it. <laughs> Um, she's in a ramen box. All right. Like little black dots look closely. Uh. Oh, shit. That was very well hidden. It's a painful bat, a small rodent, a small vermin creature. Okay. Damn. That's spooky. That's spooky, yo. Okay. This thing right here. Swelled up, tiny, mouthless, eyeless creature with four tiny legs. It crawls along the ground, assume, unassumingly a small vermin creature. So... Let's draw that shit. Here's what I think it looks like, right? And it's just kind of crawling along the ground. Do, 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 do. That's it. That's all it is. That's what I think this, this is. Does it have a name? Is it, what was this called? Puffy Creep, Creep Ease. This is a Puffy Creep E. It's a stool. Yeah, it's a, it's a tiny stool. Like, see, that's the thing that you're not seeing here. Let me discard change. New. Also, let's do something other than that color. <clears throat> Grab my pencil. Ooh, that is pretty. Here's the thing. This is like... Like, this is mic size, right? I don't even know what's going on with that. Anyway. Here I am with my like magic dagger and stuff. And this is this thing kind of scurrying away from me. And a painful bat, which is just a, a bat who's like, oh God, oh God, I just, He's trying to call away with like his his r really useless wings. He's just like, God, there's a guy with a fire knife. I need to get away. So, painful bat and a cre a puffy creepy. There we go. We got some doors here. Let's ignore the vermin. Down this dark hallway. Another tool. 
<laughs> you see why Mike likes this now? <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean. I'm killing a lot of chules. What's that? Okay, what are both of these things? A potion of flame. Cool. It's a flame potion, and I'm kind of thirsty. I might drink that. All right, what else? What is this? A spree dagger. Two power, two poison. Not as good as my uh, dagger right here, right? Where is this? This fire dagger is three power, three fire. So, got to keep that. Uh, let's grab this. And let me look for something to try this on. God, this really was the Hall of Doors, wasn't it? Because I'm starting to get thirsty and hungry. Can I eat some of these critters? Like, eat the corpses of some of these critters? Like this thing here. No, can I eat that... The puffy creepy or the bat? No. Actually, it's... I pick up the chul corpse. All right, I have a chul corpse now. Can I consume it? You have eaten the corpse of a sapient creature. Wait, chuls are sapient? What? <laughs> Composure save. I'm pretty okay with that. I rolled a 25 times 90 or plus 90 versus 100. You feel disgusted by your depraved act of cannibalism. I lose some composure. Um, are, are we sure Chules were were sapient creatures? Because, I mean, I, I completely believe in eating things that are considered lower than human. Like, anything that's even, like, less than me, I'm okay with eating. Which is why my composure is so high. Like, little Timmy, he got a D on his math test. Whereas I got, like, a C. So it's okay to eat little Timmy, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> I was hungry. Fucking chules. <laughs> Whoa! What about zombie chules? Can I eat zombie chules? Zombie chul, skeletal chul, skeletal chul. Okay, I have questions like. Let me take a look at this thing, right? This is a wake. Are wakes sentient? Can I eat this? It's the trunk of a basilisk. It's clawed. It's pathetic. I should be allowed to eat this. I'm going to eat this. <laughs> oh my god. Food poisoning save. I just can't win. I feel like a Chuj is a real person and the whole game is pokey pokey. <laughs> I, s I switched to the other router which is no one else can access. Ooh, you have a secret router. So, okay. Don't eat Chuj. And Wex are okay if you don't mind, you know. Uh, I probably shouldn't have eaten the 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 Wick. Save versus poison. Are those skeletals? What about Nox? Or oh, I'm sorry, Nukes. What are you? I haven't seen you. What is this demon dung? Oh, it's the it's a teak. It's a skeletal teak. Which I didn't think t skeletals. Let me let me take another look at this. Okay, uh, it's a creeping slug with bone-like limbs and uncannily fast, and it's made entirely from energy. Only this is a skeletal version of that. So, all right, we're gonna have to draw this one too. <laughs> Let's. Uh, Discard, new. Let's clear this board here. 
and create a new layer so I don't have to keep wiping things clean. All right. So this is a teak. We are going to draw a teak real quick. Now, let's take a look at its description. Its mouth flows with misery. It's a creeping slug with bone-like limbs. It's very fast, it's made entirely from energy, and it patrols to protect its territory. That's kind of cool. So, first thing we know, it has a miserable mouth. It's slug-like. And it has bone-like limbs. There we go. <clears throat> are the descriptions random? As near as I know, the descriptions are randomized. Yes. Because earlier, um, Untrusted was throwing some of the descriptions of these monsters at me. So this is a, this is a teak, right? But I'm not facing a teak. I'm facing a skeletal teak. And that probably looks like... Oh boy. All right, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> now, it's got a mournful mouth, right? But it's on a skull. And it's got bone-like limbs because they're, they're just bones. <laughs> okay, the skeletal ones, they're, they're not as creepy <laughs> as, these teaks are not as creepy as the others. So I'm just gonna yeah, come come at me, bro. Dead? No? Ooh. It had extra hit points. Okay, there's another whack. We know not to eat these things anymore. Yep. So let's just leave that whack there. Big room. Keep going. Dead end. Is there a search function? Like, do I look for hidden doors, like in Rogue? I don't see any. <clears throat> oh, another chooj. But this time I can't eat its corpse. Because it's, quote, sentient, end quote. I swear, you eat one sentient life form, right? <sighs> I'm going to put in a quick cut for YouTubes. <laughs> 